This video is sponsored by Euro Optics. Their American sales staff are all shooters, hunters, and outdoorsmen. If you call, they actually pick up the phone by someone who knows their products and will steer you in the right direction based on your needs. Their inventory is listed in real time, so if it shows in stock, then it is in stock. They ship all orders the same day and offer one and two day delivery commitments. Check them out at eurooptic.com. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a range comparison with the MP9 Compact 2.0 and a Canik TP9SF Elite. Both very similar sized handguns. The Canik has a 4.2 inch barrel. The MP9 has a four inch barrel. But to show you how similar they are in size, I've got a Kydex holster made for the MP 2.0. And it fits in there nice and snug. Now if we do the same with the Canik, I'll force it in just a little bit, but it does fit. I could carry using this holster right now. Let's go ahead and start with the Smith & Wesson M&P 9. Often a duty gun. A lot of law enforcement moved away from Glock to the M&P line and they seem to enjoy it. It comes with two 15 round magazines grip panels or i'm sorry grip modules and a very aggressive grip texturing a full rail right there already mentioned a four inch barrel three dot sights drift adjustable rear a sight hole indicator it has a hinged trigger with a five and a half pound trigger pull reset right there a very popular model a lot of people like the M&P line, I think Smith did a good job when they came out with the M&P line and they've expanded significantly throughout the years. Huge fan base here. And I've had this one for about three years now and it has performed very well for me. And it continues to. Nice handgun. And I think it has proven itself throughout the years. But over here we've got the Canik TP9 SF Elite. What I like about this, and it also has 15 round mags, is that it offers a little more. Now the grip texturing is nowhere near as aggressive. This has uh, interchangeable back straps. But what I like about it is the trigger in particular. It has a 4.2 inch barrel as I mentioned. A trigger bar safety in there opposed to the hinged trigger but a four and a half pound trigger pull and trigger bar safety is red so that's kind of cool it has a fiber optic front sight black serrated rear sight it also has a rail this has forward serrations the MP really doesn't have forward serrations it has little grooves in there and there goes my mag I just dropped it's getting cold out here I will tell you it is getting cold ambidextrous slide stop it has a very simple takedown that i think is pretty cool after pulling the trigger you just pull these tabs down and the slide just pops off like that so it's it steps away a little bit more and more models are like that but it does have a loaded chamber indicator bar and a striker indicator on the back plate of the slide 28 ounces loaded or i'm sorry unloaded 28 ounces unloaded the mp9 compact is 27 ounces unloaded so you're looking at a very similar platform if you will type of handgun i really like the way this fires the tp9 sf elite is a bit less expensive now i did a search prior to coming out here and i found that the snow covered <laughs> mp9 compact is selling for right around 500 dollars now now uh, uh, a year and a half ago or so it would have been 400 this is currently selling for right around four a little bit less maybe 370 this is selling for $500 so is is it worth it 
I find them both to be quality made handguns. And if I were to get political about this, the wind's blowing my cover off here. If I were to get political about this, I would say I would take the M&P 9 Compact all day long. American made, quality, manufacturer, no doubt about that. But if I stayed out of politics, I would go with the Canik TP9 SF Elite. I, I shoot it, I think, a little bit better. I like the fiber optic front sight and I like the trigger better than the hinge trigger with the M&P 9. Both excellent handguns, happy to own both. My question for you is, which one would you take? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.